Kill him. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how'd he do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that we still got a whole nother problem. One that's reared its ugly head time and time again. Bunch of assholes who won't stop till they've bled the planet dry. Shit. Hmm? <laughs> to hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stabbing us in the back, I'm gonna hug and squeeze you to death, you hear me? Loud and clear. sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too.
Nanaki? I can't believe it. It really is you. <laughs> we were so worried. Come on, come on. Whoa. Ugh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. You can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me! Who? <laughs> He's such a softie. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Keep on our toes. Step right up, folks. We've got top quality antiques at prices that can't be beat. No, sir. Buy one of these. All of the items we offer are handcrafted by the Vale's most skilled artists and travelers. I was born and raised here, in this canyon. I was to become a Watcher of the Veil like those before me, until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home, and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that! You're only making this harder! I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology! Come on! Can't forget that materia! As for me... Ah, that'll do. 
I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. up close like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. Only wish we could have made it out here sooner. Where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. Through the practice of mindful breathing, we can tap into the flow of the planet. Already I feel the planet's essence more. Our planet is the greatest artist. The way the shadows carve out the red stone, it's perfectly balanced. There's something that's truly magical about the harmony of natural structures. If people everywhere resolve to not take her bounty for granted and offer up prayers of gratitude, Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wugenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. 
Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. <laughs> Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. To me, of the planet's wisdom. I'll find a way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. Cross my heart. Recognize that little scamp. <laughs> I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. That 
right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze into their past. What they once were, eons ago. Can't say I'm all that interested. Mind your manners in front of fellow Guggenhagen. There is so much we have yet to learn about the universe. Indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud. And huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sent to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado.
<laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star! Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind? The spirit, the soul. Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? <laughs> 